Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for the advent calendar for countdown day 4, the advent calendar told me to make a tarantula island and catch some tarantulas. So we are going to go ahead and make a tarantula island on the mystery islands. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so for this challenge, you're definitely gonna wanna have some tools on hand. You're definitely gonna need some nets to catch the tarantulas. You're gonna need your vaulting pole. You're gonna need your ladder. You're definitely gonna need some really heavy iron axes and some really good shovels. And don't forget your Nook Mile tickets and you might wanna bring a bag of medicine just in case. Let's go ahead and fly on over to the Mystery Islands first. So in order for this to work, guys, you have to be in the right season and in the right time of day. So if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, you need to go between the months of November and April, between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. for this to work. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you need to go and travel from May to October. And again, from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. If you're not in that time or month, then it's definitely not going to work. You will not find any tarantulas on the islands because they will not spawn any other times. Now, once you arrive to the islands and you see one that has a lot of water, this is not going to be a great island to go ahead and make your tarantula island on because I don't see any real bugs spawning on this island and it has water and this is going to make it really difficult for me to catch tarantulas. So let's go try another one. Okay, so here you see we are here at a bamboo island. This island is absolutely perfect for hunting tarantulas. So uh, let's go ahead and start clearing this island. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and chop down all the trees. Now, I also like to cut down the trees that are on the beach as well. This way, no beetles will spawn on the palm trees. One more to go. Now, I'm gonna take my shovel and pull up everything that I just chopped down. While I'm doing that, I'm going to pick up all the fruit and I might as well take the wood with me. It's really important that you remove these stumps here because if you don't move the stumps, bugs will spawn on the top of the stumps and you don't want that to happen because usually the island will only spawn about four bugs at a time. So you wanna make sure that you're getting tarantulas on the island. So removing these stumps is a must. Now I'm gonna go ahead, pick up all the pieces of bamboo and remove all of the bamboo stumps, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because that is very important. Now bugs won't spawn on the bamboo stumps, but they will definitely be in the way and visually be in the way so you can't really see the tarantulas that well. So I like to get the island as clear and clean as possible. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now you hear how there are mole crickets in the game as well? So that's another bug that is gonna spawn. So that's why you wanna make sure you have extra tools because you're gonna be doing a little extra digging as well to remove those mole crickets because they will also count as a bug. Or you can just leave that one. Now that I've had all my bamboo trees and debris picked up, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the stones for each rock and I'm gonna eat my fruit and I'm gonna eat all of them so I can clear the pocket space as well, even though I only need to eat four. Now, after I have eaten all of the fruit, I'm gonna go ahead and break all of my rocks. See this centipede? It was hiding underneath the rock, and that is something you definitely wanna avoid, is that being one of the bugs that spawn on the island. So you definitely wanna make sure you break all the rocks so you don't get any centipedes or any slugs or any pill bugs on the island. So breaking the rocks is very important. Right here you can hear that there is a mole cricket. All right now that my island is free of any trees or rocks or any fruit I'm gonna go ahead and pick every single flower so no bugs will spawn on the flowers. So let's go ahead and do that and clear the island of all its beautiful flowers. All right, now that I have no flower buds left, 
I'm gonna make this nice and clean. You don't have to do this step, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of the weeds so I can clear my whole place off. This way I can really see when the tarantulas spawn on the island and I can get a clear image of these. I know this is a little extra, but you know, I wanna get it crystal clean. Now that I've cleared all the weeds, now you can see the only thing left are the flower leaves as well as the bamboo shoots, as well as any fossils. I'm gonna go ahead and move all of my flowers to the beach. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so here I, another tool has broken. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another shovel. This is why it's so important to make sure you have duplicate tools. Now, of course, if you don't have enough tools, you can always ask Wilbur on the dock for some more tools. Now, I'm just gonna throw all of the flower stems into the ground in one area. This way, they're out of my pocket, they're off the land, and I can see what's going on to find the tarantulas better. Now, you, you can see all my flowers are removed. The only thing left are the stars on the ground. When you are looking for your tarantulas to spawn, it takes a little bit of time and patience, but it's very important that you constantly check the rocks. Now, these rocks here, you can see there are wharf roaches on them. Scare them away because it counts as a bug on the island. So I hear a mole cricket, and it's definitely going to prevent me from getting an extra tarantula. So I'm gonna try to find the mole cricket. I'm gonna walk around slowly until I hear it loud enough. It's like playing the game of hot and cold. Am I hot? Am I cold? What's happening? I feel like I'm getting warmer and now I'm getting colder. Let's try here. Oh my goodness. Where is this mole cricket? He's really loud right here. There he is, varmint. <laughs> that is like the worst. Some more roaches two more over here so that's three and then one mole cricket i don't want mole crickets i want tarantulas okay let's get rid of the wharf roaches over here another mole cricket has spawned lucky me i hate the mole crickets tell you what if i wanted to hunt a mole cricket i would sure be catching a lot all right so here you see my first tarantula on the island so in order to catch this tarantula the best thing for you to do is play one, two, three, red light. So you're gonna approach him with your net by holding down the A button. Make sure you slowly approach them. Now he doesn't see me yet. Now he sees me. See how he's up on his hind legs? You wanna wait when he's up on his hind legs. You don't wanna approach him. When he's on his hind legs, you wait. One, two, three, red light. Now you go. One, two, three, red light. Now you go. He's up, you stop. He's up, you stop. He's up, stop and swing, and there you go. You caught your first tarantula. This is a situation just got hairy. Let's go, baby. All right, so let's look for some more. Another mole cricket, which I'm really not happy about the mole cricket situation. Also make sure you're scaring away all of the hermit crabs as well. So I like to just run around the perimeter constantly checking for roaches and I'm checking for the wharf roaches and hermit crabs, making sure I despawn those every time I get a chance. So that's two, the mole cricket is three, and here's another hermit crab, that's four. So now we're gonna start over. So I'm just gonna continue to do this over and over and over until I get my tarantula and he found me first. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get him or he's gonna get me first. <laughs> All right, so I got my hairy, scary tarantulas. We'll continue to do that again and get some more. There's another one. All right, now this time I'm gonna play red two, one, two, three, red light again with him because now I see him before he sees me. <laughs> All right, he sees me, he's hissing. And now I approach again, I stop. I approach again. You hear him shh. So you stop when he does that. He's hissing at me. It takes time and patience. You have to be patient. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to make a safe haven spot to jump in that I'm going to lure my tarantula into. There's another one. He sees me. 
I like to also scout when I do my island and walk around. I like to do it on the bird's eye view as much as possible because I can see better of where the tarantulas are before they see me. At least that's the goal. Doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> he saw me first! He saw me first! Oh no! Sorry guys. I might get bit this time. This one is super fast. Man, these suckers are fast. Oh! I pressed the wrong button. I press B instead of A, guys. All right, so I got bit once, guys. All right, I'm gonna make another hole, a safe haven hole here, because I forget the buttons sometimes to capture. So I'm gonna make a box for me to run into. All right, so to make a safe haven box, I did the box like this, and I left two pieces open this way I can run in and out of my box and go around to trap the tarantula. This way he can't get me as fast and I can run through my box. But I'll leave it open because sometimes when you go to jump, you can't jump every single time fast enough and you could get bit by the tarantula. So that doesn't always tend to work. I'm gonna run along the beach looking for hermit crabs and wharf roaches, scaring those away, staying off the grass as much as possible where the tarantulas are gonna spawn instead of running across the top because I can't see every time before they see me. Now this is about the appropriate distance that you want to be. You want to get this close guys, like seriously. This is really close and this is about as close as you want to get and then you want to release. If you're holding the button down, then you just release A and it swings for you. Okay, he found me and we're gonna get attacked by tarantulas now because I have two on my island. And, uh-oh, he's found my way out. This is why I built this. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump over. All right, there's a tarantula, and this is the right distance. But I'll wait till he's down before I swing. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on this process and then fill my pockets up of tarantulas. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one to chase me so I can show you how to catch him from the other side. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> and we're off. I forgot about these extra holes that are here because I was digging up the thingies. Oh my goodness. When he's furthest away is when you swing. Like when he's at the top is when you swing. Do not walk forward or you'll accidentally jump over and get bit. When he's at the top, at 12 o'clock is when you swing. And then you catch him. And there you go. So when they're the furthest away from you, spinning around and round is when you wanna swing to time it perfectly. All right, guys, I think that's good enough. Let's go on home. Okay, guys, look, and I got quite a bit of tarantulas in my pocket. I went ahead and quit because, you know, I wasn't trying to get full pockets of tarantulas, but you could do that. You could drop all the other supplies onto the sandy beach area, and you could fill up your pockets with as many tarantulas as you would like. Each one will sell for about $8,000 in nook crannies, or you can wait until Flick comes, and Flick will buy them for $12,000 a piece. So what a great way to make some money. I really hope that you enjoyed watching today's video on how to make a tarantula island and how to catch tarantulas. If you found this video helpful or just simply thought it was entertaining, don't forget to hit that like button. I love you guys so much. 
Thank you for watching and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.